Welcome to the 2020 Performing Arts Awards. My name is Mark Adler. I'm a volunteer with the SSMA, the Shrewsbury Schools Music Theater Association, the organization that supports performing arts in the schools. We are joined by the performing arts teachers, Director of Performing Arts, Tom O'Toole, Director of the High School Orchestras, Kate Mercadante. Hello. Director of the High School Bands, Brian Laporto. Hello. Director of the High School Choirs and Theater, Michael Lapamardo. Hello. And we'll hear from our special guest, Principal Todd Bezidlo. Good evening. Mr. Bezidlo, um, why don't you say hello? And uh, is there anything you would like to say to the sure. awardees tonight? Sure. Th thanks, Mark. I really appreciate being here tonight. I, first of all, first and foremost, I want to welcome everyone to this really untraditional ceremony uh, around the SSMA. I certainly, uh, as I'm sitting in my home office, I, um, I'm disappointed that I'm not going to get the opportunity to um, hear the one clap for everyone that comes up and receives an award tonight, which is a tradition here with the SSMA and this award ceremony. Um, I want to thank our parents in particular who've been outstanding supports of our performing arts department and program. I think it's been absolutely great that the number of people who've been involved and I really, really do appreciate your support for our programming and our students in general. I also want to take this opportunity to support the, uh, to thank the SSMA for all their support and funding, uh, including most recently, unfortunately, the trip to New York, which was canceled, but they helped subsidize that. Uh, trip and they're continuing to do the fundraising and so we certainly are in uncertain time and unprecedented times and I think uh, when we're in these times we certainly rely on our families. Um, we rely on your parents and parents rely on each other but students rely on parents for a whole bunch of things for love, strength, support and a lot of probably numerous rides to from your home to our home here at 64 Holden Street and more importantly, your home in the sea wing. And when you come from your family, you come into our family and the sea wing in itself is, is quite frankly, a family. So tonight students, we're here to celebrate your accomplishments of being uh, in the performing arts department. And again, in this non-traditional way. Um, but I think what I wanna to speak to you tonight is about all the things that you've learned that aren't necessarily accomplishments that you'll be awarded here tonight. I think as a member or being a sea winger, you've learned the true value of friendship. You've laughed, you've cried, you've vented, you've collaborated. Uh, you've really developed lifelong friendships here at the high school, in particular in the performing arts department. Another skill that you've learned as being a member of this department and being a sea winger is you learn determination and focus. You've had to practice to get better, whether it's for that solo, or a role in ensemble, everyone has a role in, in our groups, but you have to continue to focus and have the determination to get better for the good of the group. And I thank you for that, because the, the performances we had this year were completely uh, outstanding as always. Uh, although the musical was cut short and was only for families, we were fortunate enough to see the hard work that you put into that and our concerts in the winter and, and fall were outstanding as well. And when we speak of those things, uh, we speak about your resilience. You have been absolutely incredible in terms of your resilience, how you've weathered this challenge, uh, the global health pandemic, how you survived not being first chair, but continue to participate, how you have not, how you might not have been a lead in the, in the play or musical, but you continue to work hard and be part of our performing arts department. So, Thank you for that. Uh, the friendships you've cultivated, the determination and focus you've, you've learned, uh, and the resilience you've demonstrated will certainly help you weather life's challenges. Uh, you are truly, truly, truly an outstanding group of students, particularly our seniors. Our staff absolutely misses working with you. They miss you every single day. Uh, they wish you all the best. I wish you all the best. I want to, to the members of the class of 2020, I want to say congratulations. It's been an absolute pleasure and joy watching you over the last four years. We certainly will miss you.
Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Bazidlo. That was wonderful. Um, now I'd like to hear from the Director of uh, Performing Arts, Mr. Tom O'Toole. Uh, thank you, Mr. Adler and Mr. Bazidlo. Um, I don't want to repeat too much of what Mr. Bazidlo said, so my remarks will be a, a little bit short. Uh, but it is my pleasure to welcome everyone to our non-traditional awards ceremony. I had never envisioned our awards or the remainder of the school year would happen this way. Um, we've had successful and a humorous performance of Neil Simon's Fools for our fall show. We had wonderful concert performances for our vocal and instrumental ensembles at the fall and holiday concerts. We started a chapter of United Sound and did extremely well uh, at Central Districts. And we sent six students to the Allstate Festival at Symphony Hall. Uh, while we couldn't be considered for the Tammy Awards, because they didn't happen, our musical, The Adams Family, was marvelously prepared and performed, even for a limited audience, even for that Thursday night performance where I think Mrs. Korob and I were the only people who were not on uh, cast and crew and staff in the audience. Um, but every one of you gives 100% for all of our performances. Um, I've been around long enough to know that things don't always go according to plan. And this is way outside of what we could have planned back in August. And I can tell you that the teachers are heartbroken for you that you're, you're going through this experience. Um, and also those of us who are parents who have um, high school students at home can empathize with you because we see what our children are going through and how limiting this experience is and how stressful it can also be. It might be the biggest challenge of your generation, but we're all being flexible and we're adjusting and learning as we go. And uh, you may have heard a saying, fail early, fail often, but always fail forward. That's a quote from John Maxwell's book, Failing Forward. You know, it's a great read if you have time, but if not, Will Smith did a video that lasts a whole minute and a half that you can look for online. Um, and you probably watched us adults fail a lot in the past eight weeks or so, especially if you're in my AP music theory class. Um, but every time we fail, we learn and we adjust and we get better for our next attempt. And uh, failure is what we really do in the C wing. We are actually the, the masters of failure because a rehearsal is just controlled failure. We rehearse and we tweak until we get to a stage where we're ready to perform. And even after the performance, almost universally, we think that there are things that we could have done better. And that's okay because, you know, through our failures, we're constantly getting better. So during my failures for the past eight weeks, there have been times when I've needed to take a break from the screen time. So once I got up from my computer to go outside, and it was raining. So uh, instead, I watched a little TV. Yes, another failure because I took a break from screen time and I watched TV. Uh, but I ended up watching an interview with Reese Witherspoon, you know, the original L from Legally Blonde. If you haven't seen Legally Blonde, see the musical, not the movie. Um, but this might have stuck with me because uh, just as the, the closure hit, my wife and son were involved in a um, production of Legally Blonde. And unfortunately, their show didn't get to go up at all, uh, which was heartbreaking for them and for all of the, the people in that cast and crew. Um, but Witherspoon, in addition to being a very well-known actress, has become a leading Hollywood producer with her company, Hello Sunshine. And the quote that stuck with me was, I'll always bet on myself. I'm my own lottery ticket. If no one else shows up, I know I will, and I will get the work done. And that's the same kind of passion and confidence that I see from you every day in the C-Wing and even in the virtual C-Wing. So whether you're graduating and moving on to the next chapter in life or just coming back for your sophomore year next year, be your own lottery ticket. You'll probably be a winner. Thank you. Mr. Adler? Thank you, Mr. O'Toole. We celebrate now an amazing year in the Sea Wing. We honor leadership and excellence in the performing arts. We celebrate achievements within the school and beyond. We recognize outstanding students with prestigious awards. 
We recognize the members of the Triumph Music Honor Society and we present scholarships from the SSMA. And finally, we will celebrate the members of the graduating class who have made the Sea Wing their home, who have made music and theater part of their high school education and experience. Most of the awards here are selected by the ensemble directors. Some, however, are from auditions and scholarships are chosen by an SSMA committee. The students themselves elect their ensemble officers. Students will be contacted on how to pick up their awards from the school. So to begin, we'll start with the officers of each ensemble. These are juniors or seniors who are selected by their classmates. Each director has been assisted by their student officers who have taken on leadership roles. In orchestra, our presidents this year were Sullivan Barthel and Rishan Katosh. And in chamber orchestra, our president was Stephanie Del Rosario. This year's concert band president was Ali Mello. Concert band vice president was Tom Ryan. The wind ensemble president was Jack Wenske. And the wind ensemble vice president was William Yankee. Freshman choir secretary, Ronan Cox. Acapella President Liam Reardon, Acapella Vice President Anandita Punamaraju, Acapella Secretary Nidhi Ramesh, Mixed Choir President Christiana Libby, Mixed Choir Vice President Gianna Tata, and Mixed Choir Secretary Madden Brown. Treble Choir President Alicia Romano, Treble Choir Vice President Victoria Marshall, Treble Choir Secretary, Lisa Lubavitch. For uniforms for the chorus, Amanda Lineman, Colin Lovelace, and Isabella Scrico. Librarians, Megan German, Preston Karp, Eva Sharma, and Somia Wardy. Great, thank you so much to the ensemble officers. We now present special awards to our student musicians. These awards honor superior musicianship and outstanding service and contribution within each ensemble at all grade levels. These awards are chosen by the directors. We'll start with orchestras. In orchestra, the outstanding service and contribution awards go to Harvey Clive Apale and Jackie Lee. And the superior musicianship award goes to Shirja Ramanujam and Jamie Lee. In Chamber Orchestra, the Outstanding Service and Contribution Awards go to Sunny Huang and Joshua Choi, and the Superior Musicianship Awards go to Kenneth Lee and Alyssa Guo. For Concert Band, Outstanding Service and Contribution Awards go to Bethany Fornell and Michael Jubinville, and Superior Musicianship Awards go to Kieran Gadella and Malik Jaluli. In Wind Ensemble, Outstanding Service and Contribution Awards go to Samuel Walsh and Natalie Sywick, and Superior Musicianship for Sissy Han and Andrew Messick. And for Jazz Band, Outstanding Service and Contribution Awards to Marina Kunz and Max Brunel, and a Superior Musicianship Award to Alexander Zhang and Joel Ekstrom. For the choirs, Freshman Choir, Outstanding Service and Contribution, Seamus Callahan and Jenna Walsh. Superior Musicianship, Rachel Harvey. Acapella Choir, Outstanding Service and Contribution, Victoria Ambrosino, Colin Lovelace. Superior Musicianship, Deepa Ganesh and Corinna Muller. For Mixed Choir, Outstanding Service and Contribution, Jackson Bikini and Kelly Duncan. Superior Musicianship, Maxwell Brown and Anna Cardani. For Treble Choir, Outstanding Service and Contribution, Lauren Talkman and Grace Crowley. For Superior Musicianship, Emma Purple. Um, continuing on with um, Drama Department Awards for Outstanding Artistic Achievement in Acting, Xavier Milner, and Lisa Lubavitch. For Outstanding Theater Spirit and Discipline, Ethan Clark. Outstanding Service and Contribution, 
Isabella Hassler. Outstanding technical knowledge, Connor Gale. Outstanding leadership, Megan Lambert and Thalia Vlahos. Thank you very much. I uh, really wish we could have all the students doing the one clap there, would have been nice. Um, let's move on to the uh, music festivals. Each fall, music students audition for the Central District Festivals. Auditioning is an eternal part of the life of a performing artist. It's a nerve wracking attempt to try out and it's exciting to get the part. It's a thrill to perform the gig. And then to add to it, we've created these words as a tangible reminder of this accomplishment. Depending on their audition score, students may be selected into one of four central district ensembles, jazz band, concert band, chorus, or orchestra. Led by guest conductors, the ensembles performed in a concert at Mechanics Hall. This year, 38 Shrewsbury High School students were selected for central districts. Congratulations to all our central district musicians. Let's uh, start with orchestra. Students uh, from the orchestra representing SHS at the CDMMEA District Festival were Stephanie Del Rosario, Hannah Huang, Zainab Irfan, Tina Jang, Kenneth Lee, Laura Lee, Shohei Oyama, John Q, Karthik Sitharaman, Joshua Choi, Sohani Curtis, Mahathi Gopanathan, Alyssa Guo, and Sunny Huang. Students representing the band were Linus Adler, Sissy Han, Alexander Zhang, Francis Crosby, David Meyer, Alina Shkirkina, Yuichi Watanabe, and William Yankee. Students representing the chorus, Ajay Alamori, Deepa Ganesh, Saniha Kumar, Adarsh Punamaraju, Morgan Smith, Daniel Stamaris, Corey Taverna, Amoy Lin, Nidhi Ramesh, Amit Shanoi, and Elaine Stamaris. As part of the Central District audition, the highest scoring students are recommended to audition for the Allstate Festival. From those, six of our students were selected for the festival, which was held in Boston with a concert at Symphony Hall. Representing the orchestra was John Q. Representing the band was Alexander Zhang. And representing the chorus, Daniel Stamaris, Morgan Smith, Deepa Ganesh, and Adash Punamaraju. Congratulations to all of you on your outstanding uh, musicianship. We now proceed to the portion of our program honoring the senior class. The Triumph Music Honor Society is an international music honor society founded in 1936, originally called Modern Music Masters, now known as Triumph. Students are eligible to apply to Triumph beginning in their sophomore year. Selection recognizes students for their musical ability, academic excellence, school involvement, and community service. Triam members support music productions in the elementary and music schools, and they also assist the SSMA at our many events. 37 Triam graduates will be given the Pink Honor Society Cord and will be recognized at the end of this program among the senior class. Right now, we will recognize the officers of Shrewsbury Chapter 5081 of Triam. Uh, Triumph Officer, Stephanie De Rosario, President. Vice President, Emoy Lin. Secretary, Sean Naronha. Treasurer, Hannah Huang. We move now to the National Music Awards. These national awards are presented to music students in recognition of outstanding talent creativity, and achievement, and are chosen by the ensemble directors. The winners will have their names engraved on the plaques on the Sea Wing Wall of Fame. We'll start with the National School Orchestra Award. 
In recognition of singular merit and outstanding contribution to the success of the school orchestra for displaying an unusual degree of loyalty and cooperation and for ex exemplifying that high standard of conduct that is the aim of the school instrumental program, this year's recipients are Stephanie Del Rosario and Hannah Huang. And now for the John Philip Sousa Band Award. In recognition of outstanding contribution, achievement, and interest in instrumental music, and for singular merit in loyalty, cooperation, and displaying these high qualities of conduct that school instrumental music requires, this year's John Philip Sousa Band Awards go to William Yankee and Megan Welch. And we'll continue with Mr. Laporto with the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. In recognition of outstanding achievement by an instrumentalist in the field of jazz, as demonstrated through superior musicianship, character, and individual creativity, this year's award goes to Jack Wensky. And now for the National Choral Award. In recognition of singular merit, ability, and achievement of outstanding contributions to the success success of the Shrewsbury High School vocal program. These individuals have demonstrated an unusual degree of loyalty, cooperation, and high quality of conduct by the general consent of the music faculty, school officials, and others. This year's recipients go to Rachel Cox and Nidhi Ramesh. We'll continue with Mr. Apomardo and the annual theater awards. the Excellence in Musical Theater Award, in recognition of outstanding contributions of talent and commitment toward the success of musical theater at Shrewsbury High School. These three performers have consistently exhibited, exhibited a commendable degree of diligence and sensitivity while presenting performances of high quality. The awards go to Liam Reardon, Jessica Peng, and Megan German. And finally, the Excellence in Dramatic Theater Award. In recognition of outstanding contributions of talent and commitment toward the success of dramatic theater at Shrewsbury High School, this individual has consistently exhibited a commendable degree of diligence and sensitivity while presenting performances of high quality. This year's recipient is Amanda Lineman. Congratulations to all the National Award winners and the Drama Award winners. We move on now to the SSMA scholarships. The SSMA presents scholarships to students pursuing music or theater and also to students who are pursuing different academic fields. Thank you to all the graduating seniors who submitted applications for the SSMA scholarships. An SSMA committee determines the recipients without any foreknowledge of the director's picks or for, the, uh, for any of the other awards. Scholarships are named for retired performing arts educators. The first two are awarded to seniors who have demonstrated excellence in the performing arts, regardless of their intended college major. The first is the Ralph Metcalf Scholarship. Ralph Metcalf taught music for 37 years at Shrewsbury High and was the driving force behind our well-developed strings program. This year's winner is Hannah Huang. Congratulations. Next is the Phil Koziara Scholarship. Phil Koziara taught general and instrumental music for over 30 years. He established the jazz program at the middle school, transferring his love for jazz to generations of students and the Philip Koziara Scholarship is awarded to Stephanie Del Rosario. Congratulations. The Bonnie Narcissi Scholarship. Former Director of Performing Arts, Bonnie Narcissi, has been a music educator for over 35 years, with 16 of those years here in Shrewsbury. While in Shrewsbury, she promoted the growth of music electives, such as music technology from grades eight to 12, wind ensemble, freshman choir, treble choir, as well as the extracurricular music lesson program. Additionally, she supported expansion of the theater program with several new high school electives and musicals in grades five to 12. 
This scholarship is awarded to a senior who has demonstrated excellence in the performing arts and plans to major in education in college. The Bonnie Narcissi Scholarship is awarded to Grace Crowley. Congratulations. Our next three scholarships are presented to graduating seniors who plan to major in the performing arts and have demonstrated an excellence in the performing arts, starting with the Dorothy Bell Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded in memory of an outstanding music educator who taught students in kindergarten through grade six from 1955 to 1970. And we award it to Megan Welch. Congratulations. Kathleen Viscardi was a music educator and music supervisor in the 1940s. She taught choir at the junior high and choir and band at the high school. She also taught a communication class and coached speech and debate. We award the Kathleen Viscardi Scholarship to Amanda Lineman. Congratulations. Our final scholarship was established in just uh, 2000 to honor Jack Feldheimer, a music educator and director of music. We award this year's Jack Feldheimer Scholarship to William Yankee. Congratulations. We come now to the top honors for our students across all fields of the performing arts. The winners of the Louis J. Vell Award and the Director's Award will receive a personalized plaque and their names will be added to the C-Wing Wall of Fame. The recipient of the Louis J. Vell Award will also receive a cash award. These winners are chosen by the Performing Arts Department. You've enjoyed watching these students perform and on stage, backstage, and in the classroom, they are a credit to the wonderful spirit of this school. Each year, the department presents an award in honor of Louis J. Vella, who was a music educator and the director of music at Shrewsbury High from 1955 to 1992. This award is given to the individual who represents the true spirit of the Shrewsbury High School Performing Arts Department. This individual has constantly gone above and beyond what has been required or expected. They've been a dedicated department participant who strove to bring to their peers and community an opportunity to enjoy and understand music in all of its forms. This individual will have their name engraved on the Louis J. Vella Perpetual Plaque. And in addition to receiving their own plaque, receives a $200 cash award to be used to broaden future endeavors. With great pleasure, I present the Louis J. Vell Award to Megan Welch. Congratulations. And one of the most prestigious awards for music and theater at Shrewsbury High School is the Director's Award. This award recognizes one exemplary student for their contribution to our performing arts program. To be considered for the Shrewsbury High School Performing Arts Department's Director's Award, the student must be an active participant in at least three musical activities at Shrewsbury High School, possess exceptional musical talent, maintain a professional attitude during rehearsals and performances, and be a member in good standing in the music department and the school community. This year's Director's Award is presented to Will Yankee. Congratulations. We have one more presentation to make. The Performing Arts is a wonderful opportunity for high school students to reach outside the academic world into a creative sphere. Some students will go on to further music or theater education to become a professional performing artist. Others will only keep it in their memory and cherish their high school experience as a wonderful episode and we hope they will always treasure the opportunity. Today, by recognizing performing arts students in the class of 2020, we acknowledge that each of these students were active in a performing arts group in their senior year, and each will receive a commemorative blanket. Triumph students who have fulfilled their senior requirements will also receive their honor cord and will be acknowledged here. There are 78 seniors in our program this year. Congratulations to all of them. We will now present them in alphabetical order. Donald Icardi, Tri-M. 
Victoria Ambrosino, Tri M. Rebecca Anane. Andrew Anderson. Harvey Clive Apale. Sarah Barry. Jenna Blaisdell. Maggie Brown, Tri M. Caitlin Buckley, Tri M. Gage Carey. Joshua Choi. Ethan Clark, Tri M. Paige Clemens. Julianne Cody, Tri M. Rachel Cox, Tri M. Grace Crowley, Tri M. Ethan Decatur, Tri M. Stephanie Del Rosario, Tri M. Joel Ekstrom, Amira Almansori. Joseph Fleonis, Tri M. Connor Gale, Megan German, Tri M. Kyle Goodness. Isabella Hasler. Hannah Hensel, Tri M. Hannah Huang, Tri M. Sunny Huang, Tri M. Nicholas Herder. Fiona Ingersoll. Kashish Jane. Rashan Katosh, Tri M. Nicole Lacerda, Megan Lambert. Madison Lumbo, Tri M. Jackie Lee. Tony Lee. Christiana Libby, Tri M. Amoy Lynn, Tri M. Amanda Lineman, Tri M. Kendra Litt. Lisa Lubovich. Katerina Lelorgis. Victoria Marshall, Tri M. Megan McKay. Dylan McNamara. Andrew Messick. Xavier Milner, Tri M. Sophia Morano, Jacob Morin, Emily Mulvena, Tri M. John Nichols, Sean Naronha, Tri M. Jessica Peng, Hannah Pennings, Hannah Puhov. Anandita Punamaraju, Tri M. Emma Purple, Tri M. Nidhi Ramesh, Tri M. Liam Reardon, Tri M. Alicia Romano, Tri M. Zoe Rudnick. Arshia Sachdeva, Tri M. Rashika Sai. Kayla Santa. Sheila Sawyer, Tri M. Paulina Simkis. Natalie Sywick. Megan Stearns. Gianna Tata, Tri M. Lauren Talkman. Tri M. Isabella Vukmerovitz. Samuel Walsh, Tri M. Hannah Valtz, Tri M. Kira Ward. 
Megan Welch, Tri M. Jack Wenske and Will Yankee, Tri M. Congratulations again to the performing arts students of the class of 2020. As we wrap up our celebration, I want to thank another moment to thank all the parent volunteers who keep the SSMA moving and growing every year. We are proud of our children. We're proud of these amazing directors who've taught our students, and we appreciate everyone who helps and supports them throughout the year. We will post a complete list of awards and a link to this broadcast on our website, myssma.com. Congratulations to all of our award recipients, and we wish all of the graduating seniors a life full of adventure and a lifelong love of the performing arts. Thank you. <laughs>